Greetings YouTubers, it's Zelda Mariners, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. We need to figure something out. I don't really know what to do. Oh, I remember what I was going to do. I was going to go not answer the phone. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. That's a new dialogue. No. No, the orders were still missing. For now. What do you mean, for now? Do I wait? No, no, no. No. But Stanley... No! Okay, sorry. I, just, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I closed the door. I already had that ending. So I'm going to go find that telephone again, and I'll answer it this time. Or not answer it this time. What could it mean? Okay, I'm back here. Into the darkness I go. I'm not going to answer the phone, though. I'm going to see what happens if I don't answer the phone. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Nah, I'm not gonna pick up the phone. What if I unplug the phone? Can I unplug the phone? As Stanley <laughs> picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait, oh goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yeah. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? I just clicked on the you plug. You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. I'll, I'll just wait. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. Mm -hmm. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, happen. fade to white, roll credits. Didn't happen. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Yeah. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. Mm -hmm. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. Negated it's what? as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, Definitely I won't happens. have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Oh boy. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Ugh, training videos. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical a real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. What? Which choice would you make? <laughs> Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person what? who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a, what did he say? Back sack and crap. Was that good enough for you? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis what is, is the best part to a healthy decision-making yes, process. Tied to a croc. Most We're medical alligator. professionals recommend it. making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? <laughs> Less? And finally, yes. if you begin 4, to wonder if your choices are 40, actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant. Look at and me. the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, uh, training videos suck! Ah, welcome back. Why am I spinning? You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. 
Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Oh, um. Okay. Can I go back in there? Hello? Hello? No. Hmm. Okay. Could I go back in there? No. Okay, can I go up here? No. Hello? Hello? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. Yeah, imagine that. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Where is home? Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. So where are we going? That where I don't understand. Uh, hello. Great. Glad I went this way. Um, I'm just gonna check all of these doors. It's just. It's gonna happen. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. What if I go a different way than the left door? Hmm? How about that? Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story I'm first. The I'm quite side. sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What if I choose nothing? You gonna tell me to do something? You gonna beg me to do something? You gonna be all sarcastic and tell me to do something? I'm going to the door on the right. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Ooh, what's happening? Those cabinets don't look very, very good. Oh, oh dear. Looks like he just threw that room together. What if I keep going back in the right side? Nothing. Okay. Well, I'll go to the left then. I think I broke stuff. Maybe? Oh, that door's still open. Hello? All these doors still locked? Still locked? Okay. Uh huh. Oh, look what happened. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Hey, look, the Why? red door. For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless. <laughs> now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Then do it. Seems pretty shut down. Well, the capacitor sounds like it's still powering off. Oh. Um. Well, this looks very Portal 2 esque. Up. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Yeah. Now look where we are. Yeah. My entire game is destroyed. Uh huh. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. You're welcome. What, did you think that would be funny? It was. You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? 
He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. Nah. He understands that if I say to nah, do something, reason. there's a damn good reason for it. Nah. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? Nope. That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. And oh. 26. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I, I worked so well? hard on it. I tried so hard. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That, that means prepared. choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, I'll go to the left he door entered the door on his left. Okay, I'll go left. Is it still broken? No, it's fixed. Fantastic. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. It doesn't let me open the broom closet this time. Oh, look, I can't go down! Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wow, he is making me do what he says. I can't evade him. Can I go in the restroom now? It's not an executive restroom anymore. What happened to it? Hello? Touch everything on the desk. Clickety clackety. Hello. Oh, nothing. Okay. Oh, this this office is different. It's all green, and there's a panda with a gun. Business strategy. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Please speak and clearly. And saw the door the with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. Uh -huh. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath, and then spoke the code. <gasps> Not Chuck 113. Or something. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Oh, he five. spoke it into the receiver. Right there on the wall. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, Night Shark 115. Night. I'm sorry, is there a problem? Shock. You didn't mishear me, did you? I. Please speak the I... code into the receiver. I'm trying to. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. I don't know how. Night Shark 115. Hello? Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I tried! I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. What the f Frick. What the... Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. The end. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything alright? Stanley, this is important. What? The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist. That's it? You. Do you understand? That me? can't be it. Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You can't be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you I'm to confused. take that step forward, please. 
I want to listen to his dialogue. Do something? Anything? This is more important than you could ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. That was so trippy. Wait a minute. This is different. Some lights are off. And there's not a big room here. Oh, we're just going straight to this then. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What if I go right again? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. So does that look the same? That looks the same. I'm actually going to go left this time and see what happens. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But what is this? I found something! Loading again. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Yeah. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, uh da, 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 da. from here it's, um, left. Left, huh? I guess I have no choice this time. I'll have to go left. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. You little punk. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, mm -hmm. left, mm -hmm. right. Yep, yep, okay, okay. Uh, yes. You ready? I've got it okay. now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. That's a truck. Hello. Why does this truck have its headlights on? Where am I going? This is weird. Oh. Oh. Pirate. Why Why are those so disorganized up there? No, 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 no. This oh. isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to... 427? Um, oh. No, I which kidding? one was I? 420. It's rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. Employee fire. Oh, uh, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Again. Oh. All of his co-workers were gone. <laughs> what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What if I just stay here? Watch the clock on the wall. Anything I can play with? What is this guy's job? Just sharpen pencils all day? Oops. Turned off that computer. Well, I guess I have to keep going. Why does it let me close this door? I like can't close any other door, but I can close this door.
That's weird. Hmm. that door. What if I close both of these doors? Oh, help. I'm trapped. I can't get out. Ah! What am I to do? These doors just not closing. When standing, wait, wait. Oh, what? No, that's I... a lot of doors. No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. Oh, did something change? There's six doors. Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or uh... hold on? I closed some doors. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Yeah, it was right here just Mr. a minute Narrator. ago. Mr. Narrator. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Ooh. Which door do I go through? Let's go through this one. Where is this going? This makes no sense whatsoever! Oh man, I, uh, uh, is this supposed to make an- I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just, do we need to restart the game again? No, no, no. Well, I I'm find exploring. it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's gotta be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot, why not? I found my way back to that main, I found my way back to that main room somehow. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yes, perhaps. Oh, okay, there's yep. no doors it's now. Worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? What happens if I stay here? You're not gonna say anything? Fine, we'll go back. I'm gonna try all these doors though. Door. 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 Aha! I knew we'd miss something. What? The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. I'm trying to, narrator, sir. Oh, this is... this is different. Oh, boy. Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, yeah, this is, is like that a, correct? an abandoned warehouse mm. or something. Do you remember, Stanley? I do remember. But you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed Nothing's to be doing, here. how about this? You win! Yay! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, oh, and it really oh, paid off. So, oh. good job. Yes. I won. Oh, no. I don't feel right about this at all. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. Well, come on now. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. So many restarts. 
The Stanley Parable right. Adventure Line. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Ba, 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 ba. Just follow the line. How simple is that? That's very simple. However, I started spinning for some reason. Okay, I'm going to call that an episode here, guys. I will see you on Monday. It's Friday. Happy Friday. Hope you guys had a good week. And I will see you on the other side of the weekend. Peace.